Yo 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 what is up what is up what is up i know a lot of you are gonna say i know what you're gonna say oh scam kagi <sighs> scam this scam that kagi you scammed us you're late i'm not i'm not late i didn't scam you i'm still the number one what's up what's up chat how are you guys doing how are you guys doing today ladies and gentlemen i was editing a long video very long video i will prove it i will prove it right now the video is still not out but i will prove it i will prove it right now i was editing a cyber kong's video um and it's right here it's right here look at this Look at this. Look at this. 16, 16 minutes. Cybercom video, 16 minutes. I'm still missing the description. I'm missing the thumbnail. So it's not ready. It is not ready to be released. So hopefully the thumbnail will be done by tonight. If the thumbnail is done by tonight, then I upload it. I also gotta do the timestamps because it's 16 minutes. 16 minutes of content. It took me like three hours to make. Uh or more. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we watch it live? We could watch it live. You guys wanna watch the Cyberkongs live? You want to watch CyberCon's tutorial live? We could do that. We could do that. We could definitely do that. Um, Check one. But you guys got to watch it later too and like the, the, the video when I release it. All right, here we go. We're going to watch it live. We're going to watch it live. We're going to watch it live. Let's put... Let's actually... Before we watch it live, let's actually put right here so people know that we're watching the tutorial um right here text no that's not a good text this one uh no um let's just make a new text i guess new, new text new text uh new text we're gonna watch it double speed uh let's see new text Cyber con cyber gongs play and collect tutorial. Okay. Um ah, make this smaller tutorial play and collect tutorial. Okay, cool. I'm gonna make my face smaller here. There. Alright, here we go. Exclusive exclusive tutorial um if you guys are into cyber kongs and you guys want to learn about cyber kongs um this is a good moment all right we're gonna watch it let's go let's do it let's watch the cyber kongs tutorial it took me yeah a couple hours to make because i was editing and then you know i would like do a little piece and then maybe i missed something i have any i didn't even double check i didn't even double check i put it together edit it together boom and that's it it went out just like that i haven't even checked it one two check one two check one two what is up guys your little show boy kagi back at it again with a new video and in this video i bring you play and collect ladies and gentlemen this is an on-chain game by cyberkongs basically cyberkongs is one of the strongest ips in web3 not only web3 gaming but also in web3 in general they were one of the first pfps back in 2021 they really started the meta probably sooner than most of the brands that we know today like pudgy penguin and stuff like that um so they've been around for a while and they have been delivering over and over and over they have collaborations all over so they are a strong ip very very strong ip so let's jump right into play and collect which is their on-chain game on the running network i'm going to give you a full beginner's tutorial on play and collect how to get started and how to play this game
So what is Play and Collect? Play and Collect is an on-chain game, and we'll go into what does it mean to be an on-chain game in just a little bit, but the essentials are that you take your character, your Kongs, which is a gorilla, and you send them into an adventure, and during their adventure, they come back with loot, they come back with rewards, and sometimes they come hurt, and you have to heal your Kong, you have to heal your gorilla, and then send them back in for another adventure. So this all takes place on-chain. So every transaction that you make, anything that has an action is an on-chain transaction, meaning that you have to sign the transaction, you have to basically put it on the blockchain. So therefore, every single thing that happens in the game that is important, basically, goes on chain goes on a ledger and you can see it happening in the ledger immutable and that is the basics of what an on chain game is now in the future you will be able to put the whole mechanic of a game on chain basically all the movement the entire game on chain maybe in the future even this movement that i'm doing left and right it will be recorded on the blockchain and you can see that that character truly went left and right up and down or whatever so this is not something possible right now but maybe in the future it will be all right so let's get started with the basics so this is the map right here on the bottom you got the ms kongs you can create and manage your crews so basically if you have a bunch of vx's and cyber kongs um you can manage them right here equip gear and do all that good stuff right here you got the portal in the portal you will send your cyber kongs in an adventure right here we got the treasury this is where you can see the leaderboards and the prices and all that good stuff right here you got the bridge because this game was on ethereum and polygon before it went into running you can bridge some of the assets into the running network like your cyber kongs vx and a few other things right here we also got temple rising this is where you would basically level up your character and right here we got the claw machine and in the claw machine you can actually insert a few tickets for some rewards so ladies and gentlemen that is pretty much the map right now we also have this cloud right here Maybe in the cloud there's a new map or there's a new world. Who knows? But basically, this is going to be an expanding game um, over time. Now, let's get started with what are the things that you need to get started in the game. So the first thing is a CyberKongs VX. You can buy this CyberKongs VX on the running network. So you would need a running wallet. I do have a video on the running wallet. So make sure you check that out. The running wallet is compatible with all the EVM chains. So basically, once you download the running wallet, very soon you will not need the MetaMask wallet. You can literally use the running wallet for every chain that you want to connect to. So basically, download the running wallet, get some run token, and go ahead and get a CyberKongs VX. Now, right here, you can get the floor VX. But if you really want to go deep into the game, you want to learn about the point system, right? So your gear score. So basically your Kong score. You want to know how much your Kong score is worth. So, so probably the floor one is not going to have a lot of score. It's probably going to be quite simple. And right now, we cannot see right here the score, but they're going to add it very, very soon. And let me give you a walkthrough of how the score system works. So as you can see right here in the white paper, you can see that Kongs come with a base score system. So depending on their properties. So let's take a look at this one. You got gold earring, eye patch, bone legs, KJJ belt, bone arms, bone miller, and Kabuto. So basically all of this would give you a certain point system so if you're react really harder basic, it's probably gonna have a lower score system so all of this comes into play all the properties come into play in terms of the base stats now remember that not all cyber kongs have been bridged to the running network so you can buy some of the cyber kongs on the ethereum network and then bridge it over to the running network you might even find yourself making some money doing that if you have a good capital a good working capital you might be the one that bridges over a bunch of cyber kongs and sells it on the running network for a little bit higher for doing the service of bringing it over a lot of people you know rather just buy it on the running network so maybe there's an opportunity there now you also got the gear score so you will need some gear if you want if you want you can start with some gear and you can also buy it right here on the mavis marketplace on the running mavis marketplace i'm gonna leave all these links down below by the way you can see the score that it adds to your kong so right here it has a gear score of 26 now they will add this for the kongs themselves right now they don't have it but they will add it very very soon so by the time you watch this video you might be able to see that on your kong so this gear right here gives you 26 score and of course there is different rarities of gear so that's something that you should definitely take a look at right here we have common we have rare we have epic and we have legendary and of course um, higher price as you go up in rarities because there are more scars and they also give you more points so right here you can see that this gear score is 110 and there is five parts so as you can see i have bought some gear for my kongs right here we have the shield we have the chest right here we got the arms we also got the weapon and we got the armor for the legs so right here you have five pieces of armor and gear for your cyber kongs and you can see right here that it has a gear score so you would add all of that up plus your base score and that is the score of your cyber kongs now if you were to get the complete set of any of these collections right here you do get a bonus you do get a bonus so for example if i were to buy all of these from the same collection you got the shield you got the weapon and you got the armors if i were to buy the five of these i actually get an extra point for having the entire collection equipped in my cyber Kong. so it would be basically adding all this five uh, gear score up you add the base score of your cyber Kongs, and then on top of that you get extra points from your chest so it would be all of that added up plus 125 in this case so what else do you need well you're gonna need some banana banana is a token that powers cyber Kongs as an ip it is a capped token and this token is generated by the cyber Kongs genesis this is another collection um you don't need that collection so the genesis Kongs are the ones that generate those tokens every single day they generate 10 token every single day it is a capped token so this is a valuable token that will be used for many other things other than the play and collect as well you can of course get this token in the katana swap which is 
basically a DEX on the running network. And right here, you would put Banana and you would swap from running to Banana or you can do Ethereum or any other token within the running network into Banana. So you get some Banana. With that Banana, you're going to be able to swap it for some credits. So if you want to send your CyberKongs into multiple adventures in a day, you're going to need more credits. You can also earn credits by sending CyberKongs into an adventure. But if you need to buy more credits, then you would buy it with the Banana token. You will also need some Ronin token. And this is what you're going to need for the chain transaction. Um, it's very, very cheap to transact in Ronin. We're talking about less than a cent or two cents, way less, way less than that for every single transaction that you make on chain. You also right here have a daily bonus every day. Each VX on Ronin can claim a daily bonus of 100 credits. Also, additionally, you can swap banana for credits, like I told you. So one banana equals 1,000 credits. Now to embark in your first adventure, the portal is where you will set out on adventure runs. Here you will spend credits to go on adventure runs. You have tier three and four have an additional run cost. So if your Cybercons VX is apt to go into better adventure, it has good gear score, you'll be able to choose tier three and tier four. And this is gonna cost you a little bit more run to go into those adventures. Now we can actually simulate a little bit here. The game is still not live um, and it's still not on running yet. This will be in a few days. So if you're watching this, it's probably already on running. So basically you're gonna head over right here to the portal. Like they said, you're gonna select your crew. You're gonna select your VX. Of course, I cannot connect my running wallet right now. So I cannot select it right here you're going to pay the credits and you're going to select the type of adventure that you're going to go into. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. All right, something very important is HP. So you can see right here in this image, you got the Cyberkong that is level 1 and it's also at HP 20. So how is HP determined? So we have an infographic right here from Cyberkongs, thankfully. So rarity matters. So if your Cyberkongs is level 1, it starts with a 20 to 50 HP. So you might have a level 1 Cyberkongs with a rare fur that's going to give you probably 50 HP. If you have a simple one like I do, then I'm probably going to start with 20 HP. Now, every 5 levels, your XP is increased by by 10 HP. So if I started with 20, then every five, I would increase 10. That, that goes to 30, then 40, then 50. And I think my max is going to be, in this case, if I start with 20, it's going to be 60 because there's only 20 levels. If your VX reaches zero, you will either have to wait till midnight or use an elite med pack. On your adventure runs, you can trigger encounters. And we'll talk about encounters because encounters are very important for earning loot. If you fail an encounter, your VX will lose HP and not gain any loot. Now, if you want to replenish your HP, you can use healing packs. So we have the basic med packs can be found on adventure runs. And we also have the elite packs can be purchased with Roan. Everybody wants to know what do we earn in this game? What is it? What is it? Now, this is a fun game on chain, okay? And you can earn some massive rewards. Let's get into them and let's see what they are. So right here, we have events and we have encounters. So events are regular events when you go on runs. In your events, you can get shreds, you can get ascension capsules, you can get med packs, you can get some credits, you can get XP points for your cyber Kong, so you can level up and you can get some Kongium as well right here. Also need it to level up. And then you got the encounters. Now the encounters are juicy, are juicy, because like I said before in the previous section of the HP, you can lose HP, you can literally not win any rewards, but if you do win an encounter, you can get loot boxes. And these loot boxes are juiced up with thousands of dollars worth of rewards. Now, if you win an encounter, you get credits or mystery boxes. And now, if you lose an encounter, you get no loot and you lose HP. So let's take a look at how the HP works here when you lose an encounter. If you do tier one encounter, if you're in a tier one run, you have a potential to lose five HP to 20 HP. If you're tier two, 10 HP to 40 HP losses. Tier three, 15 HP to 60 HP. And then tier four, you would lose 25 HP to 80 HP. So basically, you don't want to go into a tier two, tier three, tier four run when you don't have enough HP to even encounter. You want to be careful with that. You're probably going to get wrecked if you go to higher tier runs with a VX that does not have enough HP. All right, so let's quickly break down the rewards. So we have the shreds. So quickly, the shreds are pieces of a ticket. So you got to put 10 tickets together and then insert it into this machine right here. So you would go to the claw machine and insert the ticket. This is going to cost you Kongium as well, if I'm not mistaken. This is going to cost you right here 20,000 Kongium and 10 shreds for one ticket. So this is going to allow you to claim a random NFT from the claw machine. The next thing we have right here is the Ascension Capsules. The Ascension Capsule essentially bring gear. So there's different rarities of Ascension Capsules. And of course, that pertains to the rarity of the gear when you open them up. Then we have the basic med packs. So the basic med packs to heal your tongues. Then we got the credits, which you need to go on runs. Then you got the experience points, which you obviously need to level up your Kongs. And then you got the Kongium. This is one of the resources in the game that is the most valuable. You can do many things with this. All right, like I said, Kongium is going to be used for many things. So one of them is leveling up your character. So when you're leveling up your Kong, you're going to need some Kongium to level it up. But you also can use Kongium right here in the treasury. So you can commit your Kongium. You can basically burn your Kongium for a share of the prize pool. So proportional to how much you burn is how much you're going to get from this price pool of banana. So it has, it's very, very important. And you have to make a decision here. You got to make decisions, whether you use it to level up or you use it um, to get a portion of the price pool. It's really up to you because when you level up, then you can get more rewards. Now, the last thing we have right here is a jackpot. So if you have spent a minimum of 30,000 credits 
per skong, you will be eligible to enter the jackpot pool. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. Pretty long video, but very, very useful for the people that are starting in CyberKongs VX and play and collect. There's a lot to unpack. Take it easy. Take it slow. There's no rush. It is a fun on-chain game. And I hope you guys enjoy on-chain games from now on. This is one of the most interactive on-chain games out there. A lot of the on-chain games are kind of boring. They're not visually appealing. But this one, ladies and gentlemen, this one's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, make sure you catch me every single day live from Monday through Saturday, 8 p.m. UTC, playing CyberKongs and many other games in crypto. And also you can join my Discord. And also you can join the CyberKongs Discord. They're very, very helpful over there. So I'll see you guys next video, next stream. Much love. Make sure you subscribe. Peace. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's still on release. Still on release. Um, so yeah, I should, like, I, I really want to release it just now, to be honest. I really want to release it just now, but, um, but yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um... Yo, this video is top tier. I didn't understand shit of what I watched yesterday. And you didn't even play the game. Yeah, this is my first time. Um, the thing is, I've been through the motions with this Unchained Games. Like, I get it. Like, I, this is not, like, the concepts. The concepts are not foreign to me. Right? I played all their Unchained Games. And um, I pretty much understand them. I understand what it's all about, right? It's basically doing transactions to 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 basically um to upgrade your it's a it's the same thing as axie right it's basically the same thing as axie right and when, when you look it, it when you really look at axie and the application right here that they made with atias blessing it's basically what it is they're very similar actually they're there's there i'm pretty sure there's inspiration from cyber Kongs because coco he's big you know, the found, one of the founders or core teams of, of CyberKongs, he's big on Axie, of course, Coco. So a lot of the things that you see on Axie might be implemented too in, the, in CyberKongs from a conceptual kind of like um, a point of view, right? So basically, you know, you, 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 you go on this adventure, I guess, here when you enter the shop, <laughs> right? And then... When you come back from that adventure, you get these um, resources that you can use to level up your axes. And then, yeah, that's basically kind of like the game loop, right? You can consume and yeah, so it's not that much different from like, you know, like the idea of like uh, sending stuff, clicking on stuff, leveling up stuff. Coco should give me a million dollars. True, true. He should gift us all a million dollars. You think if Coco gives us each one of us a million dollars, you think he goes broke? That's the question. If he has five hundred million dollars, I'm just speculating, right? It's only five hundred people. One million to each per, to five hundred people. That's it. He's poor. That's crazy. When you really think about it, it's not that much. You give 500 people $1 million each, and you're poor. Isn't that crazy? Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Guys, um, what happened to my other account? What the fuck? What happened to my other X account? By the way, by the way, guys, um, I did I did the thing. I did the thing for Kydro. I have a new account. If you guys want to follow it, low key, low key. So it's Kagi six three nine three seven six. I made a new account for Kydro for the Kydro thing. I'm an influencer, guys. I influence zero people. Oh my god. Oh, of course Advix followed me. <laughs>
First follower, first follower. I, I should give you a reward for that. I'm just gonna follow you. I'm gonna follow you back. It's gonna be my low key account. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I'm gonna talk shit. I'm gonna talk shit in this account. Bro, I'm just gonna talk shit. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Only us know. Only us know. Okay, we're gonna talk shit. IMX socks balls. Inside yoga. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Anyways, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's reset. Let's reset. Let's do a little reset, soft reset in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like, uh, yeah, uh, we started with a banger tutorial right there. Very soon, we're going to upload that tutorial. Um, we're going to upload that tutorial to, 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 to the YouTube, to the YouTube. Um, and yeah. We're going to upload that tutorial to the YouTube. I'm just waiting for... Uh, I'm just waiting for the thumbnail. It's probably going to be tomorrow morning. Probably going to be tomorrow morning. By the way, I'm going to the beach tomorrow. I'm going to the beach tomorrow. Um, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Duckler, Arc, Advix, Android, um, a Dragon, AI, Cock Ringer. Um, Martini, 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 Timalin, Tim, Tim, Timalin, homie. Thank you guys for being here. Um, Eric Husman, thank you for being here. Um, somebody asked if I should buy, if they should buy a VX. I think you should. Um, you, you said no financial advice. I think you should. I think it's going to be a fun experience. I think, um, for the people that have never played on chain games, like truly on chain games, I think this is going to be an experience for you. There's something about on-chain games that they're, it's kind of mystical. It's kind of mystical. It's, re it really what it, it's really what it is. Because when you think about it, you're like, uh, you're signing a transaction, sending something to do something, and then you, you click again, and then you click again. And then that's the on-chain game. But the beauty of an on-chain game is the fact that a lot of it is up to imagination. When you're sending your cyberconks to an adventure, what the fuck does that even mean? You know? What the fuck does that even mean? That's what makes it so beautiful, right? The fact that the actual adventure itself, you're the one that has to imagine it. You're signing this transaction for your cyberconks to go on, on a fucking adventure. He comes back either fucking dead or with loot. And you're like, oh, wow, cool. And then you kind of imagine that process of that cyberconks going, I don't, I don't know fucking where, you know, I don't maybe, may, maybe killing some, 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 some things. Right. And then he comes back with loot. Right. And then you have to imagine that it's as almost as you're playing a game with, there's like low fidelity games, right? There's like pixelated games, right? Like that's like one of the lowest fidelity games, right? In terms of like quality and stuff like that it's, it's low fidelity right but on-chain games are like a step below that right there is no visuals where it takes you in this in this actual adventure the adventure is in your mind which is uh it's kind of interesting yeah i mean resource management is definitely um yeah the resource managers are really good for, for on-chain games. I mean, that's why, that's why there is a lot of on-chain games. Like the first on-chain games were, were literally resource management, um, games, you know, like mining, like you go mining and you, you get these little things and then you fucking craft some stuff and then, yeah. Rainbow, would anyone trade a Rainbow Shades Genkai for a VX? Rainbow Shades Genkai for a VX. I don't know. 
Last Remains does something very similar. They include the text stories. As you guys are on a mission, it's like World War Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think uh, on-chain games are gonna become like like companion apps. Like companion apps to 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 even like big companion apps even to web like big big triple a games and it's already happening of course like you got star atlas right star atlas is a triple a you know asp aspiring to be a triple a um space exploration mmo um and but the, but the the real game right now it's an it's it's an on-chain game and it's one of the best on-chain games in solana actually the number one on-chain game in solana is star atlas actually probably the number one on-chain game right now in web3 gaming is Star Atlas by users, by transactions, and by volume. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, definitely, I think there, I think on chain games will be companion apps um, to big games in the future. Um, yeah. It's like Axie releasing. It's just an exchange of one idea for another. But you see Axie, people posting goodbye. Post yeah, yeah, yeah. These games are made to move the economy in the right direction. They allow developers to turn the faucet how ever benefits the economy. Yeah, they're, they're sinking mechanisms. They're also staking mechanisms, right? So... Almost like a reason to not sell your assets, right? Um, and also another reason to spend, right? You're like, okay, I'm going to send my little collectible on an adventure. So I could spend some AXS or some Arori. Arori is another one. Arori has an on-chain game as well. You send your, your character in an adventure. You spend a little bit of Arori tokens. Um, I believe you got to spend a little bit of Ari tokens and you can come back with some eggs or whatever, you know, sometimes it's successful. Sometimes it's not. Yeah. And, um, the, the cool thing about like a side game, the good thing, the good thing about a side game that a companion game to a game that you already play is that you know you could play that game and advance your 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 gameplay even though if you're at work or whatever right by clicking a few buttons so yeah actually interesting okay guys we gotta we gotta compose ourselves again here um is dsi in the chat yo dsi are you in the chat DSI is the one that really got me into Unchained Games again. Uh, I gotta give him a shout out. DSI. Let me know if you're in the chat, DSI, bro. DSI is an Unchained God. I hope he plays um, Cybergongs. You guys remember when DSI was like talking to me about new game? New we were watching podcasts here and everything. What's up, Elliot Ford? Elliot, my bad. My bad. Didn't, um, acknowledge you are you still playing synergy land i want to play synergy land but i want to play synergy land when they actually release a an actual game like i don't want to farm anymore i don't want to i don't want to do more farming like of course farming matters in that game i don't want to farm anymore i'm already playing this game right book it here now influence will be the best fully on-chain game in 2025 I actually know influence, yeah. I know influence. It's been a, but influence has been around for a while. Yeah, I think I, I think at this point for me, like I'm I'm like, and I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it that it's gonna be a great game. Um, by the way, but I think at this point for me, it's like I'm 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 tired of exploring new games right now. Like I'm in a phase. I will change. I will change because it's all about faces. It's all about faces. But I'm in this phase where I'm like, I'm really enjoying the, I'm really enjoying running network. 
like I'm actually enjoying running network, even though we don't have a lot yet in running network. I'm actually enjoying everything that is happening in the running network. So I'm really comfortable, f you know, doing content for the running network in general. Of course, we go outside the running network a little bit, right? We play night crowds and other games or whatever. Um, and we'll always do that. Like Lion Heroes is not on the running network. Um, night crowds is not on the running network. And we'll keep doing that, of course. We'll keep exploring new games. But right now, I feel comfortable. I feel good. I feel good where, where we're at. You know. What's up, Khaled? Yeah, I think I think also in terms of investment. In terms of investment, let's talk about that. In terms of investment, in terms of like being liquid and investing in something that has many excesses ahead. So let me explain something. So when you invest in something early, right? As an investor, as a, for the people that don't know, okay? Maybe a lot of you guys already know this, but let's pull out paint, paint time, okay? Let me, let me pull out paint. So this is why I like the running network right now well, from an investment perspective too. So when you invest, investor, investor... When you invest, your money is locked, like money locked for six months or even more to one year before you even see tokens, right? Um, by that time, the market might be bearish, right? And you can make a lot of money from this, right? From being like an early inv investor or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But a running network has almost the same effect right now. It has the same potential right now as if you were to buy a token early, as an investor not as early as an investor because obviously it's already at 1 billion an investor can easily get into like 40 mil 30 million 20 million 15 sometimes 60 70 80 million valuation fully diluted um but still you're locked so you might put fifty thousand a hundred thousand dollars away or 20 or 30 whatever whatever you put right and you might not see that even in a year. So you don't know what's going to happen in a year, right? Now, the running network has so much potential that it can do 30, 40x. And you could still have your money liquid. It's not locked to anybody. You can cash out whenever you want. And that is valuable too. And I, ha I have heard a lot of investors, right? A lot of investors that are like, um, you know, top dogs investors. People that are putting... They're not putting 10K or 20K. They're putting like 500K per, per project, right? And a lot of them have said, yeah, sometimes it's even better just to buy tokens off the market. You're buying at a higher price, but you are unlocked. You're not locked. So you can do a two, two, three, four, five X, 10 X, right? And then you're out instead of just locking your money for, two, for one year. So there is a benefit there. And that is one of the benefits that I like about running network. It has so much potential still, right? And your tokens are unlocked. Basically, you don't have to wait. Um, you, can, you barely get that opportunity, you know, of something so clear. Because it's very clear. It's very clear that that shit is going to moon. Like, running is going to moon. It's very fucking clear to me. At least I hope so, right? What are your thoughts on Synergy Land right now? Thank you for the five Canadian dollars. Um, like I said, um, I said 
what I said. I said that I am not playing Synergy Land because Synergy Land does not have the action RPG side of the game. Number one. Number two, I'm very disappointed with the team. I'm very disappointed um, in Synergy Land. I was one of the biggest supporters of Synergy Land and they pissed me off. They pissed me off because, number one, they never um, gave me the respect that, you know, that I think I deserved for supporting them so much. Number one. Number two, I'm going to be frank. I'm going to be clear here. I'm going to be very clear and very frank, very straight up. Okay? Um, that's number one. Number two, they haven't given, they have not given. Okay. They have not given. Um... They have not given holders enough value. Bro, I had like 120 syner synergians or something like that. Or more. I think like 200 synergians. Why is there no like airdrop or anything for synergians, right? They did some fucking raffle or some bullshit. That's whack. That's whack. They have bad marketing. Horrible marketing. They have a great game. Horrible marketing. I just can't be. I just don't want to be part of it right now. You know, um, and actually forget about the uh, forget about the respect or whatever that I said at the beginning. That doesn't really matter that much. It's part of it, but it doesn't really matter. I, I think mostly is they have a great game. They have horrible marketing. Um, and they also don't understand Web3. They also don't understand Web3. Like, bro, you have a token out. You have a C, you have an SNG token. Use your token to incentivize community. If you have a token out, use it to incentivize community action. You got to use it. That is what the token is for. Use it. These people think like the token, it's like, oh yeah, we have a token. We just have a token there. Bro, use your freaking token. You're in Web3 gaming. You're in crypto gaming. Use the cryptocurrency that you made. You know? And that's bothering me. Now, very important. That could change. That could change. But I'm not going to be there fighting that fight. If it changes, then I could go ahead and play the game. I don't mind it. I'm not salty like, oh my god. Like, you know, no, no, no. If the game changes, if they embrace crypto, I will go back and play the game. But right now, they're not embracing crypto. And there's a lot of games that have done that. A lot of games. That's also why I'm not paying attention to Cypher. Right? Everybody's like, oh, Cypher's a great game. Yeah, what about the token? What about the token? You can't just ignore the token. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. You got to innovate. Go try new things. You know? Give people token for playing the game. You know? Make people owners of, of the game through the token. You know? Like, bro, like, what are you doing? And I, I understand that it's not that easy, but you made the decision of launching a token. And that's, a, that's one of the reasons I haven't launched a token for Juice News or Juice Team. I mean, right? Because I'm not ready to take on that responsibility. But it's BS to me that all these games, all these companies, they raise money through a token and they never use the goddamn token. How is that? That's not fair. Go use it. Try it out. Try new things with the token. You raise money for it. Right? So, yeah. That's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of this convo. I hope that satisfies. Okay, let me see if I actually got. Let me see if I actually. Um... What's up, Ricardo Gomez?
sorry, sorry, guys. I blew your ears. What was I doing yesterday? What was I crafting yesterday? Oh, I gotta cook. That's what I gotta do. I don't know. I don't know why I have two industries. You gotta do both. Just do both at the same time. There's not one that is more priority than the other one. You gotta you're gonna you're gonna have to use both at some point. For you to cook, you need to farm. And for you to farm, you need to cook because you need energy. So I just told you. I just told you that. I don't know why I have two. Like, yeah, I guess I got lucky or something. I don't know. That's because I have lands. And I have VIP. Yeah, I got lucky or something. I don't even know. Holy shit. I literally need more space. I just don't have enough space. It's impossible.
Are the rumors true? Who said that? Stop, 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 stop. That sounds like TIF. That, that, that sounds like the TIF guild spreading rumors. That sounds like the TIF guild is spreading rumors. That sounds like the TIF. That's not true. Hold them. You, if you're TIF, don't listen to TIF. Garbage guild. Garbage guild. Garbage. Garbage. Garbage guild. What fucking rumors? You can you can be part of you can be part of a small Yeah yeah they're probably in TIF they're probably in TIF that's that's what it is I'm sorry multi so, so sorry chicken pet I know you're TIF but you, I know you're nice and everything but your 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 guild is it's fucking AIDS they're AIDS AIDS guild AIDS AIDS. Straight up AIDS. HIV. No, because the thing is that those rumors, those rumors, like, they probably are from, from that garbage... You know. No, Farmhands is nice. Farmhands is nice. Farmhands is amazing. Amazing guild. Farmhands. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Or the juice. The juice. The best guild. No, of course, of course, of course. No, uh, we're not. We're not gonna. Comp we're not gonna compete with them. We're not gonna compete with anybody. We're just gonna. We're just gonna do our thing. You know, they're gonna compete by themselves. <laughs> I missed one. Okay, 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 okay. We're back to the music. Yeah, I don't know who's giving you those rumors, but yeah. I don't like to be guilt tripped. I don't like to be guilt tripped. I don't like to be guilt tripped. I don't like that, Volta. I don't like your guilt tripping. You're guilt tripping me. Look at what you just said. Whoa, you didn't give me a chance to purchase. Like, it's my fault. Number one, not my fault. Or I didn't notice it. I sent some messages, but we're thrown to nothingness. Number two, second guilt trip. Bro. Come on, man. You're pissing me off. Yo, isn't Pixels doing, like, really well right now? Like, on a serious note. Oh my god. It's ripping. It's fucking ripping.
No wonder. No, no problem. No problem. No problem, Baldwin. No problem, Baldwin. We'll see. Maybe we can collaborate. Maybe we can collaborate in the future and maybe you can be part of the guild. I still have more shards to give out. I'm just not going to give them out right now. I'm not giving any more shards out right now. If you if if you want to be part of the guild, anybody that wants to be part of the guild right now needs to join the Discord for the Juice team. I'm also not leading the the guild. Dragon Bass is leading the guild. Um and Ark as well. So basically like I'm in it, like obviously I'm, I'm part of the leadership and stuff, but I am not going to be the one picking people. All right? So the criteria is going to be quite simple. The criteria is that you want to be part of the Juice team, number 1. Like you actually want to be want be one of uh want to be part of the juice team, right? Number two, obviously you need to have like good levels of of farming. But the number one thing is that you have you gotta be one of you, you gotta wanna be part of the juice team. We're not just one small little guild. We have been around for four years. We are the OGs, right? I have been around for four years in terms of content. We are the OGs of crypto gaming right juice team has heavy heavy weight in crypto in crypto gaming heavy weight you know being part of this is not being part of some little guild that farms you know that makes some money like it's not like that you know we're a brand you know we're not just we didn't just come up we didn't just go to chat gpt to create a guild oh can you give me a name for your guild no you know like respectfully i say this actually respectfully but i feel like i gotta get that across because i already explained i already explained there's there's sweatshops all right this is this is the other guilds not all of them but this is the other guilds that you guys are in a sweatshop sweatshop this is sweatshop right there sweatshop that's the other guilds. That's what they want from you. They want to farm you out. We want to make friends. We want to make connections with real people. We are a team. We're not a sweatshop. We're not a sweatshop. Yes, we want to make money and stuff like that. But we're not trying to exploit people. I'm. You see, this is, this is the other guilds. This is the other guilds. I'm not even going to mention their name. But this is what they want from you. You know? I made this for 60 cents. That's what they want from you. That's not who we are. You know? Sweatshop. That's who you are. In the other guilds, you're a sweatshop. That's that's where you at. You're your little sweatshop. Now, the juice team is a football team. Right? You see? Boom. That's who we are. That's a full that that that's the juice team. Very different. Boom. You see? That's who we are. That's the juice team. Very different. Very very different mentalities. We're playing a longer game. We're playing a bigger game. There's other people are playing like farming. Oh my god, like sweatshop. They're sweatshops. You know? If you just tuned in, you can't ask me to go back for you. You're late. You're late. Don't be late. Don't be late to the stream. Next time, don't be late to the stream. If you want to know what happened or go back, go back to the stream and watch it. You can scroll back. How are you going to ask me to talk about what we were talking about? What? Because you came in. Are you crazy? You're late. You're late. You're fired. When Barry Pump. Late. <laughs> Barry, Barry Pump, Barry Pump. Very soon, very soon.
What is this jazz? Oh, let's go. I got another chest. I'm probably going to put this chest right here. Kage, I meant to tell you something unrelated. As a CEO of, of three blue ships, you got too much responsibility. You, got, you should delegate. <laughs> what, are the what are the three blue ships that you talk about, sir? What else I can put here? Let's see. I think I'm gonna need this, by the way. Holy fuck. I think I'm gonna need the eggs, right? Do I need the eggs to cook? No, I don't. Is a spec consider as a land? You mean like to join the guild? What do I do with the sauces? Should I keep these sauces? Okay, soon you will want the land clear for guilds. Start stacking storage on spec with new chests. Really? Why? Thirty sixty five is my land, yes. Thirty fifty six. Yeah. Luke mentioned that we don't have a limit for soil plots and industries. Oh, you mean like Interesting.
But we can buy the soil, right? I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that though. You guys, you guys think that's f that, that, that's like unlimited? Fair, fair. No, that's fair. No, I understand that. I get that. You're right. Oh, how much soil does one land take? Bro, that's big as fuck, though. Like, that's a lot. Yeah, we just gotta we we just gotta see it. We we just gotta see it. We just gotta see it. But you're right. We just gotta put it to work. The theory needs to be put to work. I was only nine years old. I loved Shrek so much. I had all the merchandise and movies. Nobody asked. It's true though. Nobody fucking asked. I was only nine years old. I loved Axie so much. I had all the merchandise. Iconic. Iconic. Iconic photo. Iconic photo. Iconic photo. Iconic photo. Better Jihos or Kagi?
Daddy Jihos does it better. Hell no. What the fuck? Wait, we're gonna tweet. Who did it better? Is there a Jihos photo of him doing that? With the digital axis? Okay, I'm tweeting. Here we go. Kagi John. Who did it better? Go. Vote. 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 Boat. Go. No comment. What is that? Wrong. Kagi, Kagi, that's right, Kagi. Vote, vote. <laughs> vote. This man put a little digital. Are you, are you kidding me? I have a real one. Okay, Kagi, that's right. Any more voters? Yours is not fake, true. IRL versus digital, true. What's your vote? What's the vote? You just gotta comment. You gotta comment. Rage cage. Oh hell nah. Oh hell nah. What is that? Ban this man. That's crazy. What a what a disrespect.
Let me ask. Um, Yeah, what other grid? I I asked in the in the guild, I asked in the Pixels Guild channel. What are the grid sizes? We need to figure that out. Probably some of you guys already know, but don't know. Can we migrate lands already in pixels? Does it read? I need water. I need to hydrate. Hydrate, guys. Hydrate. Hydrate. <laughs> Zambina says she did it better. All digital.
All his friends are making fun of you because you're in crypto. Is this bullish? 100%. 100% bullish. Wahana. All right, let's see. Let's see. I haven't done any tasks in a while, bro. Like, like real task. I'm gonna start doing some tasks here. See if I get something done here. No, wait, wait. What is this song? No, 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 no. We're about the Jumbada task, okay. Clover, Rainbow, Pop Berry. Strawberry pie. Over. Three AM. What the fuck? Where are you guys?
Yo, how's Roan doing? Are we rich yet? Come on, man. Why is he going down? <laughs> what? Go up. Up. Europa, Vienna. Sick. Yo, I can't load. Yeah, I know. They should unban me. I don't know if I want to get unbanned yet. Do you guys know I was paying? Do you guys know I was paying people to to say free Kagi in the in the Discord in the Axi Discord? Who who participated in that? Let me know. Anybody in the chat participated in that last bull market? I'm crying in this chat. <laughs> yeah. Did you move your item from Nginx to Lost Relics in game? I did. I made a video on that. They scammed us, bro. Lost Relics is a scam. I hate Lost Relics. I really hope they succeed so I can cash out.
No, we're, we're, not, we're not talking about the pump, though. We're talking about Lost Relics, the game. Like, I hope they actually do good so I can cash out my items. What's up, Snoopy? I don't think he was trying to scam. I don't think I don't th I don't think Lost Relics is trying to scam. I don't think they're trying to scam. It's th quite the opposite. They're scared of success. It's not even a slow rug. It's literally being scared of succeeding. It's being scared of having responsibilities. It's like I create the he created a game that people want to play. Or wanted to play. And he was just scared to succeed. Isn't that crazy? You're scared of women? No, you shouldn't be scared of women. Women are beautiful, man. Like, women are needed. I need a woman right now. I need a woman right now. I need a woman in my life right now. But I'm also quite selfish right now, so. I know I need it. After this bull market, I'm going to settle down. For sure. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to seek to settle down. I'm not like, I'm not going to rush things. I'm not going to rush things, but I am definitely going to seek settling down, like actively seek for it, like, you know, like in a, like in a healthy way. Not like, oh my God, I need a girlfriend. Oh my God. No, not like that. But like, you know, like be open, completely open to like a relationship that I can nurture and that I can, you know, put my, my, my time and my, you know. don't shut up what why you guys say no if you say no you you you're wrong you never been with a with a you never been with a girl that you really like or with a woman that you really like you know it's good it's good for your for your soul it's good for your soul as long as it's healthy, you know, if it's a healthy relationship, you know, you fight here and there from time to time, but, but I, I feel like I need it at this point. It's not even like, it's not even like, I feel like I need, it. I need that human, you know, but I also get bored pretty quick though. <laughs> That's my problem, bro. I get bored pretty quick. I get. I get triggered pretty quick. I'm like, ah, like if they, if they, if they start, if they start getting in my space, like in my, cause guys, you know, I live, I live alone. I, I saw it. Okay. I saw an Instagram post by a girl, by a woman, not just a girl, a woman, a woman. She, the first thing that she said is like, if you're going to be with, with a, with a man and I, it resonated so much with me. This shit resonated so much, but check this out. This woman said, if you're going to be with a man that lives by himself, right? And has his life figured out in terms of like economically, you know, 
or you know it's close to figuring it out right it could be like figure it out or close to figuring it out um and this man has been living by himself for quite a while right if you're the woman right coming into this man's life you have to respect his space or else that man is gonna leave you real quick right because this is not just some random guy that you know you met on the street and is living with his parents or whatever none of that right and i think a lot of women do that mistake and it has happened to me right where you know they they start getting in your space and i'm like bro you know this is my space this is my building you know like i i i i've been living by myself and doing things the way i do them for a while right so and it doesn't mean that they can't make changes to your space but they can it cannot feel intrusive to your space right That's what I'm trying to say. And I definitely felt that. I definitely felt that. The last girlfriend I had, I felt like like she was already getting in my space. You know? She was already getting in my space. In different in different things. I was like, damn, bro, I don't like this. I don't like I don't I don't want to give this up. Like I I don't want to like certain things I could I, I didn't want to give them up. It's not that I couldn't, it's that I didn't want to. What's up with the girl? With the, I'm going to the beach tomorrow. I'm just going to hang out. I'm honestly going to hang out. To be honest, I'm not even going with any intentions of anything. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to hang out. I'm just going to hang out. Literally, I'm just going to hang out. I, I just want to hang out. That's literally what I just want to do right now. I want to hang out. Now, if things, if anything happens from there then cool if it doesn't cool like i don't care i don't care <laughs> guys guys why are you guys escalating things like like oh bring protection kag is gonna have fun tomorrow guys i have fun here all the time i have fun with you guys what the fuck you mean I started my relationship with adrenaline, but now I have not mo no more adrenaline in my relation. Adrenaline in life is mega important. Adrenaline. Adrenaline. <laughs> adrenaline. What do you mean you have no adrenaline? Like you have no more juice? This man said adrenaline. Just get a fucking adrenaline shot. You want me to be honest, guys? I'm going to be completely honest. I don't even want to go tomorrow to the beach. That's the truth. But I'm going to do it anyway. And it has nothing to do with the girl. I'm fucking lazy. I just want to relax. Nah, I don't go live on Sundays. I don't go live on Sundays. <laughs> the cat was feet dating going down a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> with a bike uh, <laughs> oh shit 
Low key. Low key. Yo, low key, I did that once. I started like a like a like a relationship. Not not really a relationship, but I met a girl by skydiving. I should have the video. I put it up. Look, check this out. It should be on Twitter. And I, you know, it was funny. It was a funny experience, you know. Right here. I took this girl. I took this girl skydiving. This is my first date. This is my first date with her. I took, <laughs> I took her. I'm talking about adrenaline. I took this girl on a skydiving trip. I was nervous because I'm crazy as fuck. Whatever, bro. That shit was fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah so that was like the first date and shit i but then i realized like she was not she was she wasn't a girl for me or whatever uh i don't know how to put it but yeah she was uh she was kind of uh you know like oh, like one of those one of those one of those you know No, no, I don't want to. I don't want to offend. I don't want to offend any girl here. Like that's not. But yeah, you know, she was fast. She was a fast one of the the, the fast the fast ones. One of the one of the only fans type of shit type of girl. She wasn't only fans, but you know what I mean. <laughs> she enjoyed it. Yeah, she enjoyed. It. Of course, she enjoyed it. Who the fuck is gonna do that? Nobody does that. Nobody, nobody does that. Nobody takes a girl like, hey, let's go skydiving in the first date. I didn't even know this girl. I promise you, I didn't know this girl at all. I literally just met her like two days before. She worked at my apartment and I just told her, hey, yo, I told her, I told her, hey, yo. You want to go skydiving? Like, literally. I just went up to her. I told her, you want to go skydiving? And that's it. That's how it happened. So I was meeting her as we were going to skydiving. So in my car, when I picked her up, we were going to the skydiving place. So I was meeting her on the car. And during the skydiving trip. So the whole thing was kind of like... Um, Now, and that was my first time doing skydiving, too. So, yeah. I did. The whole thing was, like, bizarre. <laughs> I would love to go skydiving, but I'm too fat. Then, bro, you have to get to work. You have to get to work. That's um, that's what you gotta do. Get to eat better. I know it's, it's I know it's hard if you're fat and you're overweight or whatever. Um, it's probably hard as fuck for you. But this is something that you gotta start thinking about, right? And nobody else is gonna do it for you. 
I'm not gonna give you a fucking speech here of how you should like do this or do that or whatever motivate you. Nobody's gonna motivate you. The only motivator is yourself. That's it. That's the only motivator. I cannot. I'm not. I'm not even gonna attempt to motivate you. If you can't motivate yourself, ain't nobody gonna motivate you. So yeah, you just gotta get to work, bro. That's it. There is no. It, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. If you're truly fat and you're for real, I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you truth. I'm gonna tell you the truth. But you already know this. You already know this. If you're truly fat and you feel bad about being truly fat, right? I don't know. If it's true or not, it's probably true. But I know you troll a lot too. But if you're truly fat, I'm just going to say one thing. Being fat sucks, right? Your life sucks. Relationships suck, right? And you're a fucking loser. That's it, right? You're a loser. But you shouldn't feel bad in a way where you're like, oh, I'm going to go cry in the corner and be more of a loser, you know? Now you have to get to work. Now you have to get to work. You got to get out of that state of mind. You know? If anybody say, oh, no, it's okay. No, it's not fucking okay. It's not okay. Even I, even I, that I'm not fat, right? Like, I'm not fat by any standard of fat. You know, I know I'm not in the best shape I could be. You know, I have messed up. You know? And nobody else is going to motivate me. Nobody else is going to be like, yo, Kagi, you should eat better. You should be drinking more water. Well, Ark helps me with the hydration, but you get what I'm saying? Nobody's going to tell me that. And I know I could be in a better shape. I know I could be stronger. I know I could be more, more ripped, better looking. And I'm not. I'm not. And that's my fault. And I feel bad for it. And I'm a fucking pussy for that. You know? I'm a fucking pussy for that. I'm a fucking pussy for that. I said, that's the truth. That's the truth. The ideal man should be looking like this. Roman male. We should be looking like this. That's the truth. That's how we all should be looking. We should be fucking strong as shit. There's no excuse why we shouldn't. Like, there is excuse. It's just not valid. We should be ripped. We should be looking fucking ripped. You know? That's, how, that's too much. What the fuck is this? Okay, okay. What is this? But yeah, we should be, we should be ripped. We are about to be Iron Crummy models. <laughs> I was googling some risky shit. Yo, I just put Roma mail, bro. And this shit just went down a fucking crazy rabbit hole. Like fucking men together in, a in some type of pool. Like, bro, all right, relax. Relax. This is not Twitch. Relax. We, we, we want that we go to Twitch. <laughs> Bro, what is this loading? Bro, I'm trying to play games. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Bro, deliver it. Yo, what is this Jumbara? Nah, yo. Luke is tripping. Luke is tripping right now. Jumbara. We have all this Jumbara. Oh, fuck. Cotton. All right, let's get some cotton candy. Go farm you better, bro. I can't farm you better, bro. Like, I'm gonna lose my brain cells doing that, bro. Like, honestly, like, bro, honestly, the Jumbera thing is just, it's just that's just a sprain there, bro. That's not it. 
The Jumbella is that's fucked up. They're doing that on purpose. Like Luke is, just wants to make us suffer at that point. Jumbella is so annoying. It's like it's like peak garbage content. Like it was fun at the beginning for like the event. Okay, oh cool, like a little event or whatever. But to make it core part of the task. Oh no man. I can't. I thought the same as you, Kagi. I'm a piece of shit and started working out. But then literally my elbow went to shit. No, if, if, it's, if there's a limitation, if there's a limitation, then yeah, it's fine. But even when you have a limitation, when you look at like soccer players or football players, if they break their arm, they're still going to the gym and hitting fucking legs. And if they break their leg, they're still hitting one leg and hitting upper, right? So like when I think about these things, you know, like we just we're we're a bunch of pussies, bro. That's what we are. Especially in gaming, bro. Like we gamers are a bunch of pussies, man. We're a bunch of pussies, bro. Have you seen the average pro gamer? Let's see. Okay, those are, these look not bad, but like, I don't know, like fucking pro gamer CSGO. Fat. Okay, that, he looks, that's how we should be looking. That's not, it's not all of us. Fat. What is that? We shouldn't be like this. We shouldn't be like this. We got to get to work. That's not good. This is not good. But. Skinny. But. Bro, we should not be doing this. We gotta be better gamers. We gotta be better gamers. We have to be. For the sake of gaming, we have to be. We just have to be better gamers. That's it. We have to be better. We have to do better. Dude, most of my football teammates are ripped. No, but wait, 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 wait. No, no, wait, but like, rela relax, I'm not, okay. Okay, relax, relax, I'm not, I, I know, I know there's, there, there's all the types of skills. I know there's all the types of skills, and being ripped doesn't mean you're healthy either. There's some people that are, ri are ripped as fuck, and they're super unhealthy. Like, being ripped for the sake of being ripped, one thing is being ripped, and one thing is being healthy. Okay? So... I get that too. But you know, if you are decently decently healthy and in shape, you look good. You look good. You you you're you're a little bit buff. You're not like fucking like mega ripped fucking veins popping out, but you're decently in shape. Right? You want to see somebody that is in shape. Okay. Let's see. All right, let's look at... Okay. You see? All right, look. That's good. Why the fuck does it have a kiss there? What the fuck is that, bro? What, is, what are these photos? 
All right, he looks he looks all right. Messi looks all right. You don't need to be like Cristiano Ronaldo. You could be like this, chilling, skinny, fit. That's all right. Kagi love men. Bro, what the fuck are you saying, bro? We're talking about male health here. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Where you gotta spin it and flip it? Where you gotta spin it and flip it? Hydrate, guys. Hydrate. 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 <laughs> I know, right? There's people, man. No, but they're trolling. They're trolling. They're trolling. They're trolling. I know they're trolling, so it's fine. Kagi in the closet. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Hydrate with Coke only. No. You cannot hydrate with Coca-Cola, bro. What the fuck? All right, guys. We're about to... Yo, this task is so boring. Uh, this is not content. This is not... This can't possibly be content. I don't care about the pixels. I don't want pixels. I want to play. Luke, bring us the content, baby. I want to play. Pixels is not going to shit. Shut up, Duckler. You're farting my bags and you're farting everybody's bag here. Pixels is not going to shit. <laughs> Remove that shit. <laughs> How does this impression of space take such a turn? Um, that's because um, this guy Daniel Rojas, Daniel Rojas, Daniel Rojas said um that I like man that I'm in the closet that yada yada that yada 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 yada. Like, come on, man. Wait, the running bridge looks like it's live, right? For, um... We, we can... You see, we can be... We can do farmland. Wait, I... Why is this connecting like... This is so weird, bro. 
this thing is so bad. Disconnect. Why is it connecting to... Why are you connecting me? Why are you connecting me to another... To another address? Like, what is that? Bro, disconnect and connect me to a new address. Oh my god. What is wrong with this? This is ridiculous. Oh, I know why. Wait, because I'm asking in Discord. Bro, you DJ trade ordinals, you complain about ten dollar fee. True. Advix is the biggest fake DJ in the world. I'm definitely never gonna get um pix pixels task. I paid 50 to bridge, I think, but that was during like a uh, high fees. Yeah, I want to know if we can send our, our lands right now. It'll probably be an airdrop to do it. Yeah, but uh, if even if there's an airdrop to send your lands, right? Even if there's an airdrop to send your lands, why would your airdrop be invalidated if you do it now? It's open. It's literally open right now. I don't think Luke is that crazy. To not give the airdrop to the people that do it before, if there was an airdrop. My logic is sound, but I, I feel you. I agree with you. It's better to wait. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I actually agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you so much, bro. I agree with you so fucking much. It's actually crazy to me. Like, these things might be, like, obvious. Like, no, wait. Why would you invalidate if I did it first before anybody else? No, because it's when we announced it. Wait, what? 
Why the fuck did you open it anyway? <laughs> you know? And you start asking all these questions, you go crazy. It happens all the time. You're so right. That's what I'm asking. I'm asking in Discord too. Yo, how much is soil? Should I buy a thousand soil? Are you sure? Are you sure that we're gonna need- Oh, did I buy it? No. Are you sure we're gonna need soil? Don't worry. There will be better soils? Nah, but you're gonna have to rank it up. There's no way they're gonna sell you better soils. When did they say the soil thing? When did they sell? You bought a hundred zombie, huh? When did they say that? I have six lands though. So it's not a lot. And I have a guild, so I, I wouldn't mind giving out, out some soils to landowners. Let's see, let's, um, let's go to di this play right here. Okay. Soil. Why is it you... How can I search by land? By 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 chat. I I don't oh, okay. Soil. Guys, I'm gonna reply to this. Wait, how come?
I have a video. Yes, I have a video, but I'm I'm waiting for the thumbnail. I have a video. I'm just waiting for the thumbnail. It's already it's already done. The video is already done. But my my thumbnail ed editor it's taking forever. It'll be up. It'll be up by tomorrow. But yeah, I think I, I like I like um I like VX. Actually, I can give you access to the video if you want. I'll make it um, available for you to watch. Here. It's a 15 minute tutorial. You can do it in double speed if you want. Guys, go pre-like the video. Pre-like the video and comment. Damn, bro. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like I, I sometimes I feel like I want to do everything. Sometimes I feel like I want to do everything, and, and you know, like it's crazy to me that I can't upload the video because I don't have because my thumbnail editor hasn't sent me the thumbnail. Like. Like, and he, of course, he's he's a great thumbnail editor, of course. You know, so I, 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 I actually need him. Like, I don't want to do it myself. But it's like, bro, it makes me want to do every single thing I like that can be done right now. I, it makes me want to do it myself. Okay, we're gonna move on. Next game. We're gonna play some. Unless we got some pixels here. In the orders. No pixels. That's not even worth it. Okay. Let's pull up the game. A power.
Yo, has anybody has anybody been playing um Wild Forest or what? Yeah. I made pixels super small. <laughs> it looks funny as fuck. Uh, can you guys see pixels like can you guys appreciate pixels Actually, I have wood there. Okay. Let's play. Road to number one. Road to number one. Nobody believes that, right?
Okay, okay. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. I'll check it. I'll check it in a little bit. Nice. Thank you, Duckler. Hell yeah. Nah, yo, I haven't played against a real player ever in this. I played on the iPhone. For some reason, on the iPhone, I get matched up. Is it different? Could it be different different matchups depending on the phone? Is that possible? What's up, HC? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Peggy, what iPhone do I have? I think it's a 13. 13 Pro? What and what iPhone are we on right now? Yeah, I think I'm in 13 Pro. I gotta change already, I think. Three Pro Max, yeah. I hate changing phones, bro. I wish I could just stay with one phone forever. Like, the process of changing, it, it gives me anxiety. It's like, fuck. Transferring all this stuff. 
and then having to use the services of Apple to do it, like, like you're forced to do it. You know? I received all refunds on bought a 15. I'm thinking of going 15 Pro. I have an iPhone since um, iPhone 11 since five years ago. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Is it five years? Yeah, it's already been almost five years. That's crazy. I don't like this meta, bro. Somebody's gonna come up with a with a phone that is. I feel like okay. This is what I feel like. I feel like if somebody comes up with a phone that is more like a Lego piece, it's hard. It's hard, but it's hard because you gotta like anticipate. But if you can do a Lego piece, like imagine Lego phone, Let, let's visualize. So you guys understand what I'm trying to say, right? Right? Imagine, Im like, and I feel like you can do, like, if somebody comes up with a phone like this, and when I say Lego, it's like parts that you can upgrade, but they're easily interchangeable, right? Like, easy, easy, super easy. Right? Like, oh shit, you wanna change the. It's like a PC, like a PC, right? Like a PC, and you're like, fuck it, let me change the processor of this. Boom. And it's super easy. Like, you can, like, detach it easily. Like, oh, you want a new screen now. Boom. Put a new screen. It's kind of like that, but it's not really. What's the name of it? It doesn't work for some reason. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, the thing is that tech gets... It gets better and smaller. But if you're already used to this, right? And you can make a smaller camera that is better. You can also make the same size camera that is better. Right? Like, if, if, I, if I could just take this, take it out and put another camera there, like easily t attach it or detach it. Like, if you already made a better one that is smaller, you can also make it this size that is better, right? Does that make sense? The thing is that technology changes so much, you know? Right, 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 right. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. What's that Google phone that you're talking about? I want to look it up. Also slimmer, yeah. Ah, man, it's just mad annoying. I think the closest thing to that is uh, is Android phones, right? Really? All you all you gotta? I don't know if you can change. Can you change the processor here? I don't know. But I feel like this is more. These phones are way more. Um, the 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 Google phones, the, you know, Android and whatever, they're way more customizable, I guess. Google, Google, Lego phone. Uh, this one? At least they tried. It's a modular, modular form. It's a modular. Right now we are facing the climate change. We're not facing the climate change, just show mouth.
cards. Even the next card can happen. Just the whole idea of being able to blocks. It's made of blocks. Detachable blocks. They are all connected to the base. Yeah. And the base connects everything together. So this phone blocks was a crowdfunded campaign that looked like it was going to be an actually brand new, brilliant, awesome idea. Because it kind of was. I mean, this was the first time people were actually considering doing a fully modular smartphone. Not just a removable battery or not just expandable storage, but everything. I mean, look at the screenshot. This is from the actual video. And it, I mean, it makes it look like you can replace anything. The audio jack, the gyroscope, other sensors. I mean, I don't know what's in the speed module, maybe my SOC, but I can replace that too. That seems awesome. And then we heard nothing for a while. Like, I mean, we got the occasional update like, oh, we're still trying or we'll st we're still working on this step form. We never got any phones to play with, just dummies of what the phone would look like. So a couple weeks ago at Google I.O., we got our Project R update, which was awesome to see. But these, as we kind of expected, these were more like semi-modular phones because now Project Aura doesn't let you swap, you know, the CPU, the GPU, the RAM, heck, even the speakers and the screen are all fixed. You will be able to swap things like the camera. You'll see a project art on Google getting all these third-party menus. Yeah. Uh, G5 by itself is a pretty good phone. It's pretty decent. It's not, it's not my full review of it, obviously, but it's a pretty good phone. But its main selling point is that it's modular. Kinda, because it has modules. This would again fall under the category of semi-modular. In fact, the truth is the G5 is barely modular. Like I would hesitate to even use that word to describe it. It has a couple of attachable accessories, but you can't swap the memory or anything. You can't swap the cameras. You can't swap any sensors or ports. It's basically the just fuck? the battery. So it's sort of like a rough draft. And I love LG for trying, uh, but this is like 25% of a modular phone. Accessories like our Moto X is sort of more fitting. I think it's still doable though. If you stick to a standard, I feel like iPhone already has a pretty good standard. If you look at iPhone 11, it hasn't, like, okay, what, let's see. iPhone 11. When did the iPhone change to square? It was probably iPhone 12, I think. Whatever, even iPhone 11 and 10, whatever, they all kind of look the same at the end of the day. They have changed. They, got, they have gotten lighter. But at the end of the day, it's kind of still the same phone, right? So even if you make it lighter, like, just make the new pieces lighter, right? I don't know, man. It's doable. Somebody has to attempt it again. It's a bad idea. Even if you have a standard, it will weigh more, be slower. Why would it be slower though? How come the CPUs? Okay, tell me. How come the CPUs for PCs haven't changed? Like the sizes. The sizes are still the same. The sockets are still the same. Wait, they did change? <laughs> like right now, if I were to get a better Ryzen, AMD Ryzen, I would have to use another one, another motherboard. Oh, so they do change too. Yeah. Okay. Now we're basically fucked. Is what you're saying, bro? Maybe phones are a bad, a bad idea because maybe you're right. 
maybe because technology in phones changes so quickly that it doesn't even matter. Like from one year to the next, you got something completely different. With PCs, it kind of it's kind of stable. What about GPUs? They kind of stay the same. Like the sockets for GPUs have stayed the same for a while too. And for everything else too, you know? They don't. Okay, then then we're fucked. Nvidia can suck my balls. <laughs> I f but I feel like it hasn't changed in like five years, though. I feel like it hasn't changed in five years. I have used same, like at least since 2020, it hasn't changed. At least. I still have used pieces of my PCs. Actually, no, like this GT. This, G, this GeForce GTX 2080 Ti that I have on my PC. That's just older than the fucking, that's just so old. Bro, I remember buying that. I could have easily bought that in 2019 or something like that. Easily. When did 2080 Ti release? Bro. There's no way. I still use this today. No, but I believe you. I believe you. It changes. It has to change. It has to change. It's like anything else. I just think it changes slower. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. No, I feel it. I feel it. I understand. I get it. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like uh, the changes between like USB and USB-C. Like these are slow changes. They take a couple of years, but they do change. But for phones, I can see how I can see how the innovation in phone is way quicker. It's like our, it's like our everyday life to use a phone. Like twenty four seven, we're on the phone. I can see how all the brain power in in tech is on phones or devices that are like handheld devices. I can see how all the brain power goes to like all the brain power in the world of tech goes into handheld devices how to make it quicker faster smaller better stronger lighter like the whole thing more intuitive like yeah but it doesn't really make any sense to have a standard yeah for sure ah oh, man this is interesting. Interesting conversation. Um, interesting convo. All right. Let's play some music. And let's do another run here. Let's see. Why am I not getting any players, bro? This can't be possible, bro. This is fake. Oh, I got a player. Oh, no, no, that's not a real player. Fuck.
This is not a challenge. I need to. I need to. Uh, I want to learn, bro. I want to challenge people, man. It's gonna work, bro. Duckler, subscribe. Thank you. Wait, did it say Duckler? Are you heard of the crypto card game Lords of Light? You know, I think I, ha I have, actually. Lords of Light. Did that come out in Cityfy? I feel like it did. Oh yeah, okay, uh Nightcross is so grindy. It's just so grind it's so grind if really? I don't think Nightcross is that grindy. It's the other way around. It's chilling. It's a chilling game. It's grindy but it's chilling. It's like a laid back grind. You know what I mean? All right, Martini, have a good one, bro. This is wild for us. Here, you can... Um
All right, let's play some. Um, let's play some Wild Forest. I mean, some some Night Forest. <laughs> some Wild Forest. The movie. Let's play the movie. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's pull it up. Night Kraus. Damn, I actually don't know what other games we can play. Well, nah, there is. There's um There's um Cyberkongs coming soon. I'm kind of excited for Cyberkongs. I know it's a, I know it's just an on-chain game. But I'm kind of excited. Yeah, I have my VX. I have five VXs. Yeah, they're not like the best VXs, but they're you know they're they're nice, they're decent. What is Cyber Kongs? I have a video on this. You can watch it. Uh, here, I'll give you the. I'll give you the link. This video is, is, hasn't come out yet, but um, I'll give you uh, early access to the video, sir. Go watch it right now. Get ahead of the curve, sir. I was peeping your guild shards. Yeah, they're mooning. They are fucking mooning. But I mean, let's see, let's see where it ends up. Actually, I gotta send. I, I gotta send a message real quick. Let me actually make. Let me put this to to work right here. Listen to no. I don't want to listen. I want to defeat monsters somewhere. Yeah, let's defeat monsters.
Okay, one second. One second though. Actually, let me just put it down here. I gotta send a message real quick. Ah, right, let me get coffee. B. Yo. Yo. Are you you're saying a portion of dungeon is already out minus the head HQ part? 
Wait, what are we talking about? Dungeons are out? <laughs> Even I got confused. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, you're not annoying. Don't worry. We got Ark here. If you were annoying me, I would tell you. You're fucking annoying. Shut the fuck up. But Ark... Ark takes care of everything. I'm happy because Ark... Is a legend. All right, stop. <laughs> stop. The only legend here is you. Why are you guys trying to why are you trying to be so humble? What's a who man? I mean, you guys say that so much, but what the fuck is a who man? Human, human, oh, not human, oh, got it. These nuts, wait, what? What is happening? You guys are going wild, man. Yo, thank you for the support level one, man. I appreciate that. Ligma. <laughs> I just can't do the main quest. Wait, let's do it together then. Or, or are you higher level than me? Can't we just like party up? Let's party up. I'm a strong man. Only in the game though. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Dylan. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, most likely not. Oh, you know who can? Ark. Oh, it's solo. Wait, what? How the... Wait, what? It's solo? This is kind of whack, bro.
Yo, Duckler. Yesterday's conversation about WoW, like, I've been thinking, I woke up thinking about this, and I was, um, I, I didn't watch the documentary. I think I'm going to watch it tonight. I'm actually, I, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to stream because I kind of want to watch that, actually. The two-hour documentary on, on WoW. Quite interesting, the story of WoW and how nostalgic it is. Yeah. Like I, I feel like I would have, I would have enjoyed it. I feel like I would have enjoyed it. Can it make a comeback? Or they just gotta. Where can you watch, on YouTube? Because I feel like, you know, for players like me. I feel like playing WoW right now, it's like I'm late, like I don't want to be, you know? If you put WoW, Rise and Fall, you will see this video right here. World of Warcraft Pandora box. Pandora's box. Telling a complete history of MMORPG World of War, including the legendary rise and also its more recent dramatic fall. I'm definitely going to watch that. It's a two-hour documentary. Let me see. Does this guy do, do more documentaries? What the fuck is this? Is this guy like mega against? Is this guy like a like a big critic of WoW? This guy seems like he goes hard. He seems like the WoW. He seems like the WoW devs fucking hate this guy. Star Wars Galaxies. Oh man, this guy looks like he's good. I'm gonna subscribe. He looks like he does good content. Let's see. It's gonna be exciting to, to watch this. Do you play Nycros? Yeah, I'm playing right now. But Nycro plays for me. I don't play. It auto plays. Easy. Yeah, we do play Nightcrawls here. We have a we have a guild and everything. He's a mega WoW fan. He went all in when they relaunched Vanilla with Classic WoW. What server? Um, our server is this one.
I might change my Twitter profile picture. But I'm still gonna use the same hat. I gotta get that hat. I'm gonna change it right now. New profile picture, guys. New profile picture. You gotta put the. You gotta trip the. Make NFTs great again. New profile picture. Axie, stay there. There we go. Easy clubs. And now, we go like this. New, oh shit, level two, thank you, man. better it has to be a little bit it has to be a little bit further away you know why this can't be in the way We'll do it another time. It's 10 p.m. for me, yes. And tomorrow, we go I'm going to the beach like at 9, supposedly. <sighs> Gotta wake up so early. No, it's not that early. It's all right. Yeah, that's why I can't stream that long. Because I gotta, I gotta get ready for the beach. Let me see. I have a list of things that I have to... 
I have a list of things here. So uh, let me see if I can pull up those lists. Mm. Okay. I probably gotta buy snacks, right? What kind of snacks can I buy for the beach? You don't need to request to buy. No, 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 no request. You can, you can gamble. You can buy a shard if you want. Stands to buy food. There is one of the beaches does have. And I actually got to ask my brother, what are the best beaches? Because I'm like a little bit lost. I have one beach I can go to. I could go to Macau. El Limón. But some of the beaches are virgin. They're virgin beaches, the ones that I'm thinking. So there's not gonna be any food. It's like it's like nobody's there. Fresh food? Like what fresh food? I don't even know. Ronas? Like coronas? Kaigi, you can't go to dungeons with us. Level up first, you will miss your attacks. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> go to Juanillo. Juanillo, you're right. <laughs> this guy, fucking search online. Juanillo Beach is nice. No, but I can show you guys. I can show you guys some footage. From the last beach I went to. Like, it's super desertic. Right? Like, this is the type of beaches I like to go to. But when it comes to when it comes to hanging out, it's not necessarily the best one because you gotta bring a grill, most likely, or whatever. Right? But um You see, I was grilling. Check this out. Let me show you. You see, that's where I was last weekend with my dad and my brother. We were grilling at the beach. Easy. Boom. Um, let me show you. Um, we even got stuck and my dad was was we got stuck and my dad was um, helping. My dad was helping. You know, he, my dad got cut too. You see, he's bleeding. Look at my dad. Look at my dad. My dad is a gangster, bro. Look at his hair. <laughs> So we got stuck, so we had to put like, um, you know, stuff under so we can get out. We had to build like a road to 
get the car out. The car, the car is pretty par powerful, but you, you know, it's the beach. You know, the beach, the sand is crazy. Let me show you guys. Uh, what else? I can show you a little bit more here. This is this is how beautiful it looks. Boom. Look at this. Boom. Easy. Ah. Wow. There's nobody there. <laughs> Nobody, only us. <laughs> um, let's see what else I can show you. Um, let me see this one. This one's pretty nice. Now these are these are like virgin beaches. Virgin meaning that it's not it's not like uh it's still not um you know they're not developed. So investors investors have not gone to the beaches yet. They're not there yet. When investors come in, it's over. You're gonna see a bunch of hotels. They're super virgin still. And you can buy land here too. You know, you can buy a pretty... I'm probably going to buy some land there. If we do really good in this bull market, hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, then I'll buy some land right next to the beach. Just literally just to flip it in a couple of years. Maybe I'll build a house or whatever, but I know a hotel is probably going to come in and be like, hey, yo, we're going to give you a couple million dollars for your land. And you're going to be like, uh, yeah, you got to pay me more. <laughs> no one owns a beach. No, no, no. Beaches are not private. By law, by law, beaches are not private. I think United States kind of has that. Most of the countries have that. But yeah, there's no private beach. That doesn't exist. Anybody that has a private beach usually they got away with it. It's almost like, um, yeah, they kind of got away with it. What they do, the, the way they privatize beaches, I'm going to explain. The way people privatize beaches in the Dominican Republic is by building around it. They build around it. So your access to the beach is private. The access. But the beach itself is not private. So if I were to go on a boat... If I were to go on a boat, let's say all of this is occupied, right? If I were to go on a boat and disembark in a boat right here, they can't say shit. Because it's not their beach. Yeah, may maybe with private island. But I'm talking about like uh, Dominican Republic, right? That, 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 that's the law. There's like a certain... Like, there's like a certain uh, f uh, feet or, or meters that from from like over here to like over here it's all this is public so if they build over here i mean i can still hang out here but what they do like i said they privatize the access to the beach from land from the land and then you can you you can you can't you can barely get in right you can't get in because all of this is occupied from the land but in theory on paper by law the beach itself is not private. That makes sense. Okay. So yeah. Um. But yeah, let me show you some. Uh, let me show you a few, a few more things here.
Let me see. Let me see if I can show you this one. We guess I got one with some horses too. You see, this this is a good example of what I'm saying. Like this is already privatized here. You see, you see all this. This is like land that people own on the on the on the left side, on the left side and the right side, on the left side and the right side, right? So they pr what they do is like they privatize the access, right? Like right here, and then you can't get in, right? That, that that's basically the strategy. So yeah, I'm just get, I'm just giving you guys kind of like um, context, right? All right, let's see some more footage here. Really nice. I love this trips, man. I love this family trips. No, it doesn't cover the beach. Yeah, no, no, you can't do that here. But like I said, once you... You can't do that here. I mean, you could pay... You could lobby. You could lobby and probably get away with it. Like, pay the government officials. Nobody gives a fuck, right? But, you know, I'm just giving you, like... Co like context of the law like whatever but but like i said um like i said nobody like once you once you cover the entrance like nobody's coming you know what i mean nobody's gonna come and you do own a portion of the beach right like there's a portion that is yours but then there's a meter but it makes sense it makes sense that it's not private I'm going to tell you why it makes sense. Because people with a lot of money, they tend to abuse power. They tend to abuse... Right? These corporations, the people that own hotels and shit, they tend to abuse whatever power they have. If they can privatize the entire water, they will do it. You know what I'm saying? And you as a citizen of Dominican Republic... It feels like shit. You're like, bro, that's our beach too. Right? If we allow the beach to be privatized by by all these big corporations, we're fucked. We have no beaches. No, I get it. That, Yeah, yeah I understand, but it ha there has to be a balance. There has to be a balance. There has to be a balance between like, you know, between allowing privatization and also citizens being able to enjoy their land without being taken over by big corporations and I'm, I'm pro corporations by the way i'm pro i'm pro money 
I'm not like being like all socialist about it and shit. Right? Like, oh my god, yeah, the land for everybody. No, no, no. It's just it has to be a happy there has to be a happy medium, right? You allow people to build whatever the fuck they want to a certain point. And then the beaches, you leave it open to everybody. But like I said, they already found the loophole. The loophole is to build on, on the land and and not allow access to the beach. Nobody, nobody with money is going to go around the water and disembark in those private beaches. And nobody without money is going to get a boat to even be able to do that. For what? You get what I'm saying? So it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. You privatize the whole fucking land. And then the access is basically your beach. Yeah, we're mostly public in beaches, but again, Argentina is big as fuck. Yeah, Argentina is big as fuck. DR is tiny. No, I know, I know, I know, I, I know, I know somebody that has a private beach. Like literally, their house is built right next to the beach. And nobody has access to that beach. Only him and a few other houses. But then again, if somebody were to go through the water and hang out at the in the sand... Nobody could say shit. I know somebody that has a mansion on the beach. Literally. Like their patio. They you their the back their back of the patio. You walk out. You walk out and there's like a little door. You know, you got the patio, you got the you you got the You you got the pool. And then you open the door and you're at the beach. Literally at the beach. You're, you're literally right next to the water almost. And that's his beach. It's a private beach. You know, nobody fucking goes there. I mean, some people would have to go around and fucking get in and... Yeah. Yeah, mansion on the beach in DR. Yeah. I can show you. Let me see if I can find... Um, Terrenas. I mean, yeah, look, this is how they look. I mean, you're really right next to the beach, but, uh, you know, they don't actually own this. That's the thing. Like, they don't actually own the, the water. Like, if somebody were to come, you see, but that's right next to the beach. That's like, uh, you see, that, that, that's how it is. Yeah, you like right next to it. You see, your patio is like the beach. But if somebody were to go around... Right? If they if they come from all, all up here in a boat and they chill out here, they can't say shit. But nobody does that. You know, nobody can do that anyway. Like if you have no money, you're not gonna do it. If you have money, you already have your fucking home. So yeah, you do have kind of like a private beach. It's your beach. Yeah. You see, it's private as fuck. <laughs> it can't get more private than this. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of houses like this here. But yeah, this is like, this is what hotels do. You see? They build before the beach. This is like a hotel or, or maybe like a, like an apartment complex. But you see, they build before the beach and basically they privatize it. Basically, essentially. You see? 
Now, if you build a bunch of these, if you build a bunch of these right next to each other, it's basically privatized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it has like that event vibe, like people can rent it. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing about. Okay, uh, we can talk a little bit about that. You know, that's the thing about having money. Like, like a lot of people that say, "Oh, I want a mansion or whatever," and this and that. Like you, you really gotta think about these things. Like, yeah, you buy a mansion like that in front of the beach, and you're living by yourself, bro. That's boring as fuck, man. You know, things are made to be shared. Things are made to be shared. Like, it's boring. I'm, and I'm actually kind of scared of that in many ways. I'm actually kind of scared of, of, of the idea of, like, of being ultra rich and not sharing wealth with other people. Does that make sense? Like, I'm not talking about, like, giving away. Like, give away. Like, oh, my God, I'm giving away. No, no, like, sharing. Sharing memories and, and wealth with other people. Like... Maybe you have a friend that he's not super rich or whatever or anything like that. He works a nine to five normal. He loves his job or whatever. But maybe, you know, he hits you up one day. Hey, yo, Kagi, can I use your beach house? I'm going to go with my family. Uh, fuck. Yeah. Fuck it. Sure. What the fuck? What the, what the fuck am I going to do with the beach house if, I, if I'm not going to share it? You know what I'm saying? Like... Like, what, what the fuck am I going to do with a beach house, a mountain house? Oh, my God. I got all these fucking mansions. So fucking what? <laughs> it's scary. I'm going to tell you why it's scary. I'm going to tell you why it's scary. I'm going to tell you why it's scary. Because once you acquire a little bit of money or a little bit of, like, success or whatever, people get people hang out with you. A lot of people, I mean, you can sense it when people hang out with you for, for the wrong reasons. I'm not dumb, right? Like, you can sense it. And I guess that's just kind of how, it is what it is, right? If people hang out with you for success, then that's it. People hang out with you because of success. But, like, it's it could be a little bit scary to make friends on your way to success. Because a lot of people might be hanging out with you because you're successful. And maybe I'm not sure... You might, you, you know, a constant question in your mind is like, would this person hang out with me without success, right? Like, um, there's also another question to that. Does it even matter? Does it matter if does it matter if somebody's hanging out with you because of success? Success isn't that part of life. Like, there's reasons why people hang out with you, and some other reasons other people hang out with you. You know, you you can have a like different set of friends, friends that you hang out with because you're successful and friends that you hang out with no matter what like I, I guess there's a variety of friends that you can hang out with right so i guess you're right there's no reason to be scared but um yeah loneliness is is scary when you don't have money they forget about you but that's what i'm saying not and not and not everybody you know it's a dark way to think it's a dark way to think. And I feel like when you don't have money, people forget about you. Not because they don't like you. Not because they, you don't have money. But because you, you are doing things. You're doing other things. So it's almost like it's almost like when you get out of high school, right? When you get out of high school, you're like, oh, yeah, your high school friends forget about you. Well, no, not really. They didn't forget about you. They're just doing other things. You know, you might, you might have chosen medicine as a career. And maybe your best friend chose fucking, you know, um, law, right? He wants to be a lawyer. So guess what? Now he's hanging out with the lawyers. And you're hanging out with all the uh, medicine people, you know? So it's not that you guys are not friends. It's that you guys have different interests. So a lot of the times, I think that's part of it too. That when you don't have money and then you don't hang out with other rich friends because you don't have money, it's because they're actually doing rich people shit. 
right? They're basically flying helicopters, fucking spending a bunch of shit, a shit ton of money. And if they invite you, yeah, they can invite you one day. But if their lifestyle is to spend $10,000 a day, they're not going to be able to invite you. And it's not because they don't want to. A lot of the times it's also because you can't afford it. And it's not from a point of view of like, oh, he's less. It's more like, bro, he can't keep up with what we're doing right now, you know, naturally. It's kind of the same. There's also a lot of that too. And there's also the shitty people that really just hang out with you, whether you have money or not. Like, like okay, if he has money, I hang out. If he doesn't, I'm, I'm out. Like, there's, he has nothing to offer me. There's also those people too. I think it's a combination of everything. And it's, and it's um, I think there's it's the ability to identify, right? The ability to identify what kind of friends you're making, because I think there's nothing wrong either with hanging out with people that are hanging out with you because of interest, because if somebody's hanging out with you because they have some type of interest, because you have money, because you have clout, because you have connections, that's fine too. You, you just got to be able to identify it and you got to be able to play the game. So if that person is hanging out with you because there's an interest, right? Now you got to make a decision of whether you want to hang out with that person and you can extract some value out of that person too because he's extracting from you. So if somebody's extracting value from you and that's all they want to extract some type of value, then now you got to play the game of like, okay, let's be friends. Sure. sure. Okay. What kind of value can I extract from this person? Because that's all he wants. So I either don't hang out with him or hang out with him and also extract value. So an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. You know, that's another way to look at it. So, yeah. Yeah, that is the spectrum of life. That is life. <laughs> this is a spectrum, combination of people. What server you on? We are on NA, NA EU one Rook. Okay, I don't even know how to say it. Here, we have a command for that. It says it right there. That's why I don't like humans. <laughs> nah, nah. Kagi the philosopher. <laughs> nah, I think these are just. Um, these are just questions that you gotta like ask yourself often, I think. I think it's important to to often, you know, question question your own biases too, you know? I feel like I have biases too with people. Like um and I, I and I would like to challenge those. And sometimes I feel stuck with some biases that I might have over people. Oh, this person is like this, right? In my mind. I'm like fuck I'm like I is is this person really like this? Like, or am I just making that up in my mind because it makes me feel comfortable about, you know, having control of the idea that this person is like this or another way? I don't know. You get, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, like, I, I feel like uh, like you gotta like challenge your thoughts. You know, you ask questions about your own things. You know, and you you know. More often than not, you'll find that you can adjust some biases. I hate cats. If you love cats, that's it. We can't be friends. Okay, I don't hate cats. That's a big word. I don't like cats. I feel like cats... I feel like cats are not your friend. You know? Cats are not your friends. They just hang out. They just hang out for a little bit. And they ditch you. They're not your friends. They will ditch you any day of the week. I promise you that if I start giving your cats food, they'll fucking come to my house and hang out with me.
Maybe dogs will do the same. <laughs> Maybe all animals will do the same. <laughs> Pay to win. <laughs> Pay to win. <laughs> Yo, pay to win in the animal kingdom, bro. <laughs> Yo. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I don't know. I'm scared of cats. I'm not scared of scary, but I feel like cats... They can just come out of nowhere and scratch you. You know, like, meow, meow. And then just jump in your face, like in the videos. You know? i never seen a dog do that. Unless it's a pit bull. I'm scared of pit bulls. Maybe the media has made them into, like, bad dogs. I saw a video just recently on Twitter. You know you know that Twitter algorithm is kind of fucked? I don't really watch crazy videos on Twitter. But bro, sometimes in my feed, I see some crazy videos. And I think it's happening to everybody. This, this socials, there's some social media accounts that are blowing up. And sometimes some political shit comes up that is really fucking crazy. Some like historical videos come up and I think it's happening to everybody to be honest I don't think people are choosing to go search for those um it's just kind of like this network effect that is happening on Twitter I don't know anyways I saw this video recently of a a, uh, a pit bull owner getting bit and the pit bull is just ripping his hand apart and I'm like and the, and the video and the tweet was like, what did this owner do to the pit bull? That was a tweet. And I was like, yeah, most likely this guy was fucking rage. Uh, tr it looked like a bad neighborhood. Um, it looked like a bad neighborhood. So I know in the United States, everywhere in the world, but I know in the United States, they do that a lot. Pit bull fights. So it, it, the owner looked, you know, from my biases, like he would be one of those people that probably was training the pit bull to be a pit, pit bull fighter, like a like a dog fighter. Um, that's my impression. And I don't know what they do to these dogs to make them aggressive. But I know there's a strategy to it, right? It's like a dungeon crawler. I think that's a good way to do it, to to put it, yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It's a dungeon crawler, yeah. It's like an it's like an ARPG, but like on chain. You're not actually doing anything. You're not actually moving. It's an on-chain game. On-chain games are basically you click a few buttons, you equip some items, and then after a certain time, they uh, your, your character comes back with loot or it comes back dead. I guess it's like an on-chain RPG or whatever. But yeah, you can think about av adventures like dungeons, yeah. That's a that's a if that makes you understand the better, yes. But you're not visually seeing anything. It's just a, it's a, it's a transaction, right? It's a mathematical transaction with some <gasps> with some RNG elements. They don't feed them and seclude them. Hmm. Interesting.
That's crazy, bro. It's, it, yeah, there's some RNG to it. I mean, Ellie Foliot, have you ever played an on-chain game? The concept of an on-chain game, it's, um, yeah, th there is there is RNG to it, yeah. A lot of RNG to it, yeah, absolutely. Um, but the RNG changes based on your stats, of your of your of your character right so you can equip well you saw the video you can see that you can equip like different like weapons and armor and whatever yeah i think um i think you should i i think you should, i think you should i don't know if you have the money for this i don't i don't want to tell you go buy one i really don't want to like um motivate you to go buy one but if you do have the money i would highly suggest to give it a try to an on-chain game because there's a feeling to it that it's hard to explain unless you kind of like start playing with on-chain games. You play Axie? Ellie Folia, you play Axie? All right, Cock Ringer, much love, man. Have a good night, all right? Um, take it easy. I'm really just into Dungeon Crawlers and MMORPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if you want something active, like if you want something... No, no, I feel you, I feel you. No, no, if you want something active, um, if you actively want to move your hands and kind of like actively fight um then yeah on chain games are not on chain games are basically transaction based right so every transaction that you make whether it's equipping an item um whether it's like uh s sending your 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 character into a dungeon right um everything is like uh it's a transaction it's really what it is right um and it's really designed for people. It's really it's a it's a different type of genre, to be honest. It's a, it's a, it's another genre. It's another genre. It's really designed for people with, I wouldn't say with people with money, but yeah, kind of. You know, it's kind of designed with people with a little bit of buying power, and people that don't really want to necessarily put too much work into their hands. It's more like a mental thing, because you do have to strategize. Um, depending on the on-chain game, but you do have to strategize by equipping different items, equipping different different uh, gear, um, you know, all of that good stuff. It could some of these on-chain games could get complex, right? Um, because you have to make decisions. That that's really that's really a good way to put on-chain games. On-chain games are games that you have to make decisions you know and those decisions take place on the blockchain right it's really what it is it's a decision based kind of gameplay right you make a decision you click you 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 make the transaction and that decision has an outcome and then based on the outcome there's another outcome and then so on right <laughs> They're designed for degenerates. <laughs> True. Like, I'll give you an on-chain game. Oh, I actually have one. I actually have one. And I have some free codes. I actually have some free codes. This one, I don't know if it's on the blockchain. No, it is on the blockchain. I have one. I have one. I have some free codes for this. Let's play it. I'm down to play. I'm going to make an account. 
I have some free codes, and you guys can make some money, potentially, with these free codes. There's a $5,000 tournament for this, okay? So, let's play it right here. Boom. Let's actually play one. Let's play an on-chain game. So, we have... They gave me a bunch of codes. Um, I'm going I'm to I'm drop some codes in the chat. First of all, log in to claim... Your email. All right, I'll put my email. Let me um, let me cover this. Okay. 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 But you don't have to make a wallet here. I I don't believe so. I think the game already has a wallet integrated for you. All right, let me make this off the screen because this is um it might have some choose your username. Okay, Kagi John. I'm gonna give you some codes here. Um uh, enable no skip that. Uh finish setup complete, okay. You see, writing on the blockchain. We are writing onto the blockchain. So even this transaction of making an account is already on chain. Okay. Now. Let me see. Okay. Now I go to claim and right here I'm going to put my code. Okay, with this code, I have a bunch of codes, okay? Boom, I can claim tickets. Valid code redeemed. So now after that, I can go and enter a tournament. And this is an on-chain tournament. I'm not doing anything. All right? Let me know if anybody in the chat wants one. I'm here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start dropping a few, okay? Right here. Boom. Code one. Right there. Okay, wait. Make an account. Right here. Why is this not working? Join tournament, okay. Featuring is this one. Skip this shit. All right, I'm entering. Join with ticket. Join with ticket right here. Boom. And you have a chance to earn $2,000, I think. Boom. Join with ticket. Confirm. I'm in. Okay. Tutorial. Okay, so I got to choose a card. 200 HP. I have no fucking clue. I need some damage. Okay. Two hundred seventy-five Accuracy. Damage. And uh, something with a lot of damage. Engineer, accuracy, nine. Okay, I'm going to go with this. Okay, re-roll your initial inventory. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to re-roll it. Let's just go. 
Next, select four operators. Okay. Select operators. Okay. One, two healers. Um, let's see. Uh, damage, damage. Okay. Next. Okay, I gotta put some weapons now. Oof. Okay, interesting. So this is like an on-chain. Okay, weapons. 20 damage, 25 uh, accuracy. Oh, we gotta put this weapon right here. Whip. Um. Okay. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Armor. Health. I'll put some more health. Gadgets. Holy fuck. Okay. Gadgets. Regular block, block. One immunity. Each count can ignore stun. Okay. I'm just gonna put this. I'm just gonna try this shit. I I wanna I wanna see how it works. Okay. Next. Okay. How do I keep going now? I have no clue what I'm doing now. Okay, I geared up. Oh, I see. Okay, now I gotta build a strategy. Now I gotta build a strategy. So are you keeping up? Oh my God, you guys, I'm in the middle of the thing. Somebody else use it. I'm going to put more codes. I'm going to put more codes. I'm going to put more codes. Relax. Relax. I, I, I'm going to do it right now. So this is a strategy game. Like, you got to build a strategy. So, for example, right here, front door. We're going to use this person. Wait, we can't put... Okay. And now what? So confused now. I don't want to go back to operators. I already chose. This is going to frustrate me. I thought it was going to be easier to explain.
Okay. I'm just I just wanna test this. What's happening? Let me in. Open map. Got it. Okay, now what? All operations need to be fully equipped. But they are fully equipped, no? Oh, I see what's happening here. All operators need to be fully equipped. Okay, again. One, two, three, four. Oh, I see what's happening here. I get it now. I think I get it. One of these. One of these, and then one of these, and then make it here, make it here. I don't. This is confusing as fuck. One second, guys. One second. I'm going to look at chat right now. Let me cook. Let me cook. This is actually pretty confusing right now. Just the. It's not that confusing, but it's like the fucking thing is just wrong. There we go. Finally. Once you submit this transaction, you won't be able to make changes. There we go. That's an on chain game. Did I, did, does that make sense? Ellie. Does that make sense? This is an on-chain game. Now we wait and see what happens. Basically, it's like... It's almost like Rainbow Siege. Right? It's like playing Call of Duty. But simulated. You know? You equip your items. You send them there. And then 17 hours, we'll know what happens. So it's a ba uh, everything is based on strategy. So CyberCongs is similar to this. Okay. Guys, who wants a code? Who wants a code? Third code right here, coming up. Make an account. Make an account. Make an account right here. I'll wait. Who's ready to... Who has made an account? Ready to claim. Okay, ready to claim. All right, guys. Here we go. Third code coming up. Ready. Boom. One right there. One right there. Boom. One right here. Boom. If you have a key, Juice Team key card, we will also put some other codes... One, two, three, four. 
Five codes. Boom. If you have a Juice Team key card, we will put some other codes soon in the Juice Team key card. And maybe tomorrow I'll just tweet a bunch of them too. Nah, that's just mean. <laughs> that just mean people are claiming it. It says invalid, really? Nah, people are claiming it, guys. How many people are in chat right now? How many people do we have live? I don't have the, I don't have the number. How many people are watching right now? We have thirty-two people. Probably people, people claiming. All right, go. Put in more. Two more codes there. Um. Uh, all right. Does everybody have one? Let me know. Oh, I see people joining. Uno más. Wait, that's not 17 hours. That's 17 days, right? This tournament in particular is 17 days, I think. When does it start? Can we play any? Count them to be, looks to be hours. Okay, so it is hours. Okay. Okay, nice. Let me see if I can claim another ticket real quick here.
Okay, I think I can claim another ticket. Nice. All right, let's see. Nope. I cannot use it. Only for oh, so only for the five thousand dollar tournament it works. Oh, I can join with another ticket. Oh yeah, you can join multiple times. Sick. Fuck you guys. I'm not giving you guys more codes. Yeah. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm just going to tweet it. Fuck. Uh... Let's tweet this. I'm going to tweet it. Fuck it, dude. I'm going to tweet it. I'm going to tweet. Oh, yeah. Okay. I need to tweet this real quick. Because, um, you know, the codes are going to go to waste if we don't tweet it. I'm just going to, like, do it because they gave me f this for free. So why not, you know, help a friend out? Here we go. Here we go. Join. Oh, shit, bro. Damn, bro. That's so sad, man. Fuck me, man. That, that made me sensitive. All right, here we go. Oof. Okay, so. Join this on-chain game for free. Three, three codes, three codes to win for, for a chance to win expiring soon. First, make an account. What's the name of this uh, on-chain game? Let's see. Three codes for a chance to win $2,000 expiring soon. 
First make an account in I don't even know their Twitter, bro. What's her Twitter? What a horrible Twitter. Like, it looks like a scam. I don't even want to tweet this. Should we tweet it? Or should we just fucking, like, uh, just give it out here? Fuck it. For you guys. For the people that are here. Oh, what's up? What's up, Kicks? What the fuck is that Twitter, bro? Bro, what in the fuck is that Twitter, man? I want to help, but Midnight Heist. The fuck is that? First, make an account in Midnight Heist. Quickly. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hook you up, bro. I got you. Okay, now, sirs, we go to claim. Boom, right here. One step. One boom. Okay. Wait, because this is a this is just a process, yo. You guys are seeing me work right now. Twitter threader. Go to land page. Boom. One second. I'm not looking at chat, guys. Because you guys are fucking annoying. You guys don't let me work. Respectfully. I don't know if this on phone looks good. I gotta check. Fuck it, dude. Whatever. Bro, it's free money. What the fuck? Fuck people, man. This is free money. It's on my balls. If they don't read, they don't read. Alright? I'm always like trying to like make it easier, but like, bro. Cash. Money. We gotta put money. A little cash sign. Bam. To earn, not to win, to earn. So that's not fine soon. First, make it a guy, make it a boom. Go to, claim, go to claim page. Go to claim page. Code claim. Enter tournament.
Okay, and now where's that page where I was? I, I was, uh, okay, right here. Hello? Ah, uh, this is not it. I was in a page. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, it says. Okay. Let me take a screenshot of this like this. Boom. Okay. Let me see how many images can I put here? Okay. Create. Enter $5,000 tournament for free and then four. Send your soldiers into a heist in a few clicks. I think that's pretty self explanatory. Now we gotta put the tournament page. For some reason, the tournament wasn't working for me, the tournament page. Oh, it is. Double space. Dropping codes and comments soon. All right, let's see if this shit works. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right. All right. Boom. There. There you go, bro. Nah, all good, bro. Hey, I like your game, bro. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. You know, when, whenever, whenever you have like, uh, like something ready, like hook me up, hook me up with, with, you know, hook me up with some, with some cards, some cash, you know, whatever the fuck, you know, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. You know, you, you know, send, send some, send some cash this way, bro. We're starving out here. We're starving artists. Guys, yo, yo, guys, guys, hit it with a retweet, hit it with a like, hit it with the like. We're gonna drop some codes there. Wait, is this are these codes only for? Are these codes only for? Um, are these codes only for this tournament, bro? Only for this tournament. All right, cool. They're only for this tournament. Nice. How many entries per person? Oh, no limit codes. Yo, no limit codes, baby. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fire some some myself real quick before this fucking people 
take over my codes. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, guys. Um, we're also gonna do a Discord giveaway if you guys want more codes. Okay. I think I use. I think I used that one. Let me see. Hey, Ark. Um, look, I'm gonna drop these codes, Arky. Okay, codes remaining. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, three, four, five. All right, we're gonna do five right here. We're gonna drop five right now, guys. Or should we give it a little bit more time so that people can like um five codes more coming. Maybe we should give it a little bit more time. Let's let's give it a little bit more time so that some people can sign up or whatever the fuck. Guys, I'm going to the beach tomorrow. Fuck. What am I doing alive? All right, well, you guys can't see that. Because you guys are fucking fins. Can't leave the codes up on screen. All right. Okay, so five codes. Boom. Okay. Now let me put my codes in. I want to put my codes in because I'm about to like one, two, three, four, five. Claim tickets. Okay. Claim tickets. Okay. One, two, three, four, three. Claim tickets. Okay. I'll put a few more codes in. And I'm going to leave it at that. Let's just leave it for you guys. All right, I'm going to drop more codes in the chat so you guys have more chances to win. Um, Arky, let me tell you which codes you can put on Discord. We're going to do some Discord giveaway codes too. So make sure. Um, I'm going to tell you which codes, Arky, you can, you can use. All right, I'm going to hit you up right now. I'm going to hit you up on internal Discord, okay? So, hey. The ones I'm sending you right now, Ark, are the ones that are available, okay? These are the ones available, okay? So, I'm going to drop, the. these are the ones available. So, whatever you had on your Google Sheet, just scratch that because I, I made a mess. I made a mess. I didn't know you had a Google Sheet. Next time, we'll do it with the Google Sheet. I made a mess. But these are the ones available, okay? So, this is what I'm going to do. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The last ten, I'm about to drop them on this chat, okay? So these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm just going to copy this and actually edit. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, I'm just going to edit the message I sent you. And now these are the ones left. Now, with the ones left, let's make a giveaway on Twitter, on, on Discord. On Discord. Um, I don't know if, do we have a giveaway bot for the Juice Team keycard holders? Let me know. Because we can spread it in the main chat and also put some in the Juice Team keycard holders. In, the, in, the, in their chat as well. I, I'm not sure how many people are active though right now at this time. I feel, yeah, we, we're running out of time. That's the thing, we're running out of time. I think we just gotta do it in general. Let's just fucking do it in general. Fuck it. Let's do it in general. It's on the marketplace. Wait, 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 wait. The thing is that... Has anybody claimed on the marketplace? We might have to remove that. It's just we don't have time. Well, let's do the marketplace for the next drop. For the next um, batch. We'll, we'll, we'll do marketplace. We'll go the marketplace route. But right now, we literally have 17 hours to go. So it's going to be a shit show, people claiming at the last minute and whatever, you know. Just do, just do, just do all of them. Just do all of them. All of them in general. Fuck it. Only two people claim. Okay, to those people... Send them the Twitter thread, okay? Send them the tr Twitter thread. And give them a code. Give them a code from what we have left. If they claim, cool. If they didn't claim, they didn't claim. I know, like, people are going to forget, bro. And tomorrow's, tomorrow's Sunday, you know, let's just, like, we're, we're hot right now. Let's just get those codes out, you know? And get them out. So, send those people the two codes, and then the rest, fuck it, general. And right here, I'm about to drop 10 codes, right now. I'm about to drop 10 codes, okay, guys? Here we go. You guys ready? One by, one by one. Boom. First come, first serve. All right, guys. Here we go. The tense codes you drop in the ones in internal? No, 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 no. No, no, no. The ones in internals, the one in internal is the ones that are left. Let me just make it a little bit more clear. These are the ones left. Dub Club, check my latest tweet. Check my latest tweet. As a matter of fact, Dub Club, I got you. I'll send you. Use those for giveaway on main channel. All right, we're going to drop less. We're going to drop less. Yes. Show them.
All right, I'm about to drop 10 codes right now. I'm about to drop 10 codes right now, one by one. By one, one by one. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Dub Club, I got you. I have reserved three codes for you. Three codes. Just read the tweet. Read the tweet. Okay? Read the tweet. Follow the steps, and I'll send you three codes. Actually, Ark is going to send you three codes. All right, these are for the community. Here, guys, hurry up. Go. Code one. Boom. Code two coming up. No, no. Dub Club is not a lucky man. Dub Club works hard in the juice team. There's no luck here. Three. Boom. Four. Boom. Five. Boom. Six. Boom. Boom. One day, one day, when we open more positions in the, ju in the juice team in the future. Seven. Boom. Eight. Boom. Nine. Boom. And last one. Boom. There it is. Guys. Wait, I actually need more codes. Fuck. I fucked up. Arc. I need more codes for Twitter. You claimed five? You fucking savage. No, you guys are savage. We're doing... Um... Oh, no, you guys are blaming YouTube now. We're doing some giveaways on Discord, too. Guys, this is not going to be the last time. Um, Kicks. Kicks, are you the founder of this shit? Yo, Nick, you're the founder of this shit? This is your project? We're going to do more shit with him. He's going to give us more, more codes. No, we're doing Discord, Discord, Discord giveaway. We have a bunch of codes, Discord giveaway. Participate in Discord. We're going to do it in 30 minutes. 30 minute giveaway. It's a 30 minute giveaway. Quickly, fast. Ark, how's the, how does the giveaway work? Bro, you just got to react. You just got to react on, on Discord. It's not a big deal. Just react. Okay. Are we going to do it in the giveaway section arc right here? I think it's right here. Yeah. I think we're going to do it right here, guys. Boom. Right here. In our Discord giveaway section, all you have to do is react. You react right here. Boom. Not this one. When arc puts it in 30 minutes, 30 minutes, we got a bunch of codes coming in all at once. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And Ark, send three of those codes to Dub Club, please. So he can, like, join the tournament. All right. So here we go. We're going to... Finish and um, enter in the tournaments. Continue setup. All right. So very simple. We're gonna choose right here. All 350 XP. Okay. Okay. We can re-roll, but I don't want to re-roll actually.
Let me see if I can get more codes. Yo, uh, Nick, can we get more codes for Twitter? I don't know if Nick is here. Yo, Nick, you're here, bro? Are you here, sir? Guys, it's getting late, bro. Oh, beach tomorrow, really? Really? Weapons. Okay, let me put some music real quick. There you go. Ark, Ark is preparing the giveaway. Oh my god, I have so many tickets.
Hey bro, I don't know man. I'm I I I'm in the dark as you. I just I just did it on stream, bro. Just just look at what I'm doing. Look at my tweet and look at what I'm doing right now. It's literally just Yeah. This is strategy game. But it's what it seems to be. We got a little strategy game. You get a set of cards and then you you basically form your strategy around what you uh, uh, around what around the cards that you get, right? So I'm just doing it quick. I'm not even I'm not even thinking here to be honest. I'm just at this point I'm just kind of like testing the thing. No, 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 no need. What? Look at my tweet. It's free. No need to deposit anything. Not with the codes. I mean, you could. In the future, you could. What the fuck? Yeah, it could be. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to commit to anything. I don't like I don't like to be I don't like when people commit me to stuff. I I I I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to go with the flow. Whatever happens, if I feel like playing nine heroes next stream then then we'll play, you know? I don't want to say yes and then and then you tell me, "Oh, but you said I don't know, maybe." Yes. Cuz then I I don't I don't like to be stuck. But yeah, potentially, yes. Potentially, potentially.
Let's re-roll. Let's see if we get a better card here. With more HP. More health here. I'm just putting random shit to be honest at this point. I'm not even reading. Oh, come on. How is this not that... Like, they need to fix this. This is not clear. It's, like, unclear. Like, what am I doing here? Like, what? why can't I... Oh, there it is. I get it now. Yeah, it's not it's not it's that part of the of the game like it's okay it's easy to to understand but it's also it's a it's a bit it's easy to understand but i guess visual i guess visually is not the the feedback the the, the visual feedback of the game when you equip stuff it's not that clear no, it is easy to understand. I understood the game. I get it. You know, the thing is that also I had to zoom out to understand. But yeah, when you, when you zoom out like this, you get it. You know, you basically you got a set of cards, weapons, armor, gadgets, whatever. And then you equip that, right? You know, you choose four. Boom, boom, boom. Based on a, on a strategy that you, you know, you come up with. You come up with a strategy. Cool. You equip a, a weapon. Boom, boom. I get it. I, I like, it's, it's understandable. It's just this thing right here. You know? It's like, it should be more clear. It should be like on the side right here. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Or something like that. You know? No, but you're right. You're right. You're right. It's, it's not that easy. It's almost there. It needs a few tweaks. It's almost there. Like, I would put it, like, right here, right next to it. Like, okay, armor, equipped. Weapon, equipped. Like, very clear. It does say it right here, slots. How many slots? I get it now. And that should be part of your strategy, understanding that too. So I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm I'm understanding. Hey Ark, where, where where is the tournament? I mean the the giveaway. 
Where are we doing the giveaway arc? It'll be out soon. Okay. Cool. Link people to the tweet, okay? W arc. Yeah, W arc. Actually, just give... Do Yo, Duckler. Are you here, Duckler? And Cockringer? Arc, out of the giveaway, give one. Do you need a code, Duckler? You guys want to test the game or no? Okay, give one to Duckler, give one to Cockringer. It's it. That's it. And then the rest, do the giveaway. Guarantee one for Duckler, guarantee one for Cockringer. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Guys, 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 guys. Join Discord. Join Discord for, for the giveaway too. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am out. I am out. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night. Have a good morning, wherever you are, guys. I need to go to sleep. I don't even know if I have if if I have a like um underwear to to go tomorrow to the beach. Now I gotta go check. Now I gotta go check. Now I have to go check. I don't even know if I have like a like swimming suit, bro. Am I real? Yes, I'm real. All right. Guys, I woke up. I woke up at 9 a.m. in the morning, 8 a.m. in the morning to work, to make a CyberKongs video, to, to, to do stuff for you guys, for crypto. You guys got to understand. I, I don't got time to, to, I don't got time to, for underwear. All right. Bye. Peace. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for hanging out. Peace. Thank you, Arky. Much love. Peace. See you guys Monday. Monday. Unchained game for VX. Cyberkongs VX. Unchained game. Monday. We bang it out. Video coming soon. I'm releasing the video very soon. Guys, like the video, comment, and subscribe to the, to the channel. Okay? Video coming soon on Cyberkongs. My release it right now. If I if if we have it ready. If we have it ready, I might release it. If we have the thumbnail ready, we, I might release it like right now. Or maybe in the morning, like seven in the morning, six in the morning. I don't know. Whatever it is, guys, like the video, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. I mean on Monday. Monday morning, not tomorrow. Now, um, bye. Peace.